Well, damn it. All right, how's it going, guys? So today I'm actually going to be finishing up the hood on the Miata. Um, all I got to do is put some Bondo on it, lay it out nice, make sure it's nice and smooth. But there is one problem. I'm not going to be able to do it outside because it uh, looks like we got a storm coming in. So I'm going to try to lay it down as much as I can before that hits us. So I'm going to sand it down and then uh, get it ready for some primer. Primer the whole hood and then uh, start working on other little body works like right here I got to sand down, make it nice and smooth and get it ready for uh, Plasti Dip. Okay, so I forgot to mention, before I get started, I'm going to have to wipe this off with some acetone, make sure it's nice and clean, and then uh, I'm going to mix up my Bondo, then I'm going to get to laying it down. Damn, shut up, bird. Shit. So let's get started on that. Okay, so as you can see, I just used some acetone on here. You can kind of see a little bit of difference in color. I really sure wore a respirator because I totally just got high to smell that. Ugh. Does not smell good. Um, it feels really smooth. Now it's time to, you know, just mix up that Bondo and lay it down. Alright, so make sure you actually knead your hardener because otherwise you won't get enough of the liquid into the cream and therefore it won't even harden. So you just want to make sure it's nice and mixed up. This is just a little test sample. So I got a little size. So if the circle's about that big, normally you just do one line right across like that. And you come over here, you just start mixing it up. Mix it till it becomes one color. Just like that. See how nice and uniform that looks? And how it's kind of tacky. It will be able to hold a shape. So this is actually pretty good. I'm going to use that same technique to use an actual batch that I'm going to get on the hood. Sorry about the lighting. It's pretty dark out here because of the thunderstorm that's coming in, as you can hear on the audio. But I'll do the best I can for you. So uh, definitely not perfect. You can still kind of see where it's uh, molded to. Um, I'm gonna be sanding a lot of this out, so it should look better once it's actually like sanded a little bit. Then I can see where I need to add more, and then uh, go from there. But I can't sand yet. The storm was going on during this, so it's kind of passed a little bit. It's going that way, but um. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, then I'm gonna sand it down. All right, now it's time to get to sand it. I'm gonna move this into the driveway, actually. Okay. Oh, shit, gotta hurry up. So, I got all sanded down smooth. I think a little bit more finishing touches in a couple places. Um, I can tell like it's not 100% there yet, but I think this is really good. Um, I think I'm going to just take some sandpaper on a block and smooth it all out, finish it up, and then uh, spray some primer on her. That way that she's ready for a uh, Plasti Dip whenever that comes around. Guys, I'm aging. I'm prematurely growing gray. Alright, so... What I'm going to do is I got some of this uh, spot putty, glazing spot putty. Um, I'm going to put it in little spots so I can see little pits. Like right here, there's still a couple little things. Um, very thin coats with this stuff. You don't need a lot. And then use like 220 grit to just like get it off. And then uh, I'm going to acetone it one more time. Then it's ready for primer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, primarily gentlemen, because that's all that watch our channel. But that's okay. So today, I got my jean jacket because, uh, well, besides having a mustache, I discovered that when you weld, if you don't wear something to protect your arms and your skin, you get burned. I got burned really bad. Take a look at this. Well, if you can see that, it's peeling. It's pretty disgusting. So we're going to try to prevent that 
and we're going to weld this here hole. And that right there is a hole, and this right here is a bung. So we're going to weld our bung hole. So you're saying that you got burned because you found out that it uh, does UV light, correct? Yes, it's, it's UV light. It, basically, it's the sun. I'm welding with the sun. <laughs> and the sun decided to burn my arm. And now I'm telling the sun to fuck off because you ain't burning my arm again. You burn me once, shame on me. You burn me twice, well, you ain't gonna burn me twice. Here we go. Now where's that damn brush? There it is. All right. Woo! Yeah. Well, I got it tacked on. Well then. Ow! Jesus. I think about all of that. You ain't gonna burn me twice. Oh, that burns my toe. Woo! Make sure you wear good shoes when you do this, not running shoes. Ah! Burn the shit out my foot. God dang it. I mean, you can see right. here. Oh. Nah, it looks good. Don't mind the dookie-ass welds, but uh, we got that thing on there. Not bad for a noob, just saying. Nothing like these summer nights with these wonderful, beautiful rain clouds, storms. Watch over there. Their, their lightning was like right over there. You can see like right over here where this guy has this giant-ass pole in his backyard. It has like metal, because he has horses, so I don't know what he does over there, to be honest. That's crazy. So Austin's in here taking care of his uh, line that was basically really, really close to the exhaust that we built. This is a little trick that I learned just through experience and trial and error. It's ghetto and it works. So if you don't know, aluminum foil. Aluminum foil does the trick. If you got something that's really getting close to the heat and stuff like that, aluminum foil helps reflect heat exceptionally well. So this little five cent trick will actually save you some hoses and some money. Now, as far as actual temperature, I have no idea, but it works on my truck, so I figure we'll try it on here. So Austin is getting ready to put this downpipe up on this puppy. Yeah. Just because. Look at how disgusting I look right now. I just feel like dirty. I feel bad. Luckily. Oh no, it light. looks pretty stylish to me, but I don't know. This is the. the what is that? What is that? The 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 automotive chic. <laughs> is that what they call it? The drifter chic. Oh, with uh, this was inspired by Woody from Toy Story. Oh, there you go. You go ahead and put that pipe under there. Okay, so he's down there in the darkness, bringing us a bunch of shit up here. And I'm just going to basically be here and hold it for him when we need to. Oh, here it comes like he's giving birth. Look at that. Oh, it's one ugly baby. God damn, that's an ugly baby. Hang on, let me help you out down there. Okay. So Austin's in here getting these nuts put on. So it's finally on there. Um, we're getting it all tightened down, so hopefully we'll get this thing moving soon. Okay, so Austin's in there. He's about to start up for the first time in a while. Can't run it very long because I don't have the wideband in, and uh, I want to see what's going on with it. And it's just kind of dangling right next to the exhaust, but uh, we'll see how it sounds. Here we go. got a different sound to it. Damn. I feel it now like at my feet. <laughs> yeah, I can hear it. That's like, crazy. Like before when I get on the gas, I would it would just get louder. Like I wouldn't feel any different. I felt that, like in my feet. That felt good. Fuel. Seems to be okay. Not bad. 
I'm excited. I'm so happy I can't 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 I